going to be the guy making the motion, so it's on. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> well, welcome to our March meeting. So, uh, we're going to have to hold off on voting for our minutes of the meeting, as I was not there, and we don't have Conrad here to do that. So, we are down to item three on the list. Uh, I move that I move to uh, approve the motor vehicle payments for the month of February. Uh, seconded and unanimous. Number four. Do we have? You indicated that uh, the uh, owners did not meet the income requirement. Right for the exemption. Okay, so and they're in excess of the maximum allowance. Then I put, then I move that we deny the application. Second and unanimous. the assessors to abate all late fees and interest that was income earned because of an error at the registry of vehicles. And the assessors can only abate the original tax. They have no jurisdiction over late fee and interest, so I second that motion and unanimous. So the partial relief lien re release for Chapter 61A uh, you indicated the property was sold and the the uh, well, back taxes back taxes were, were paid. Mm -hmm. Then I vote that we release uh, it, they we be partially for 61A. Second and unanimous. We have no old business before us. We have new business of an application for someone looking for an abatement. And probably since we're not at a full board on this and we want to make sure we give it our full attention that we all have input on looking at this because it does revolve on it. They do have an appraisal attached and I'm going to, I certainly would entertain a motion maybe to hold off until the next meeting so that we're a full board to look at it. I think that would be appropriate since, you know, Conrad is a certified appraiser and I'm not, so I, I would certainly appreciate his input, so I second to the motion. Okay, unanimous. Um, do we have anything else before us, Lisa? Um, yesterday, the entire day, uh, I had seven applicants come in and test in math, Excel, and Word. So that all that testing is done, so we can go over that today and um, prioritize who did the best. And then we're looking at interviews next Tuesday. So I don't know if any of you want to attend the interviews or. I trust your judgment on this. You're the one who has to assign the work and review the work and see if they uh, meet the, the essentials that you're looking for with someone. And I think it was a great idea to give, you gave a little bit of a preliminary test to see if they can handle just some of the computer and the math work right. that's involved in the research. Because it is more of a, people don't realize it, it involves a great deal of research on your part on right. looking at these. And I don't want to train in the basic math and Microsoft programs because they have to learn the point software and the vision. So I'd rather have somebody come in with knowledge so that I only have to teach them on our software instead of all of it. Uh, again, I would, uh, I agree with Joanne. I would defer to your judgment. The last two assistants you've had were qualified. Mm -hmm. We didn't stick our nose into that, so. Okay. <laughs> all right. Starting I believe now. That, um, the town administrator is going to be in probably Peter Fox, Lorna Wade, who is the chairman. So there'll be three of us there. Good. I think the public needs to understand right now, we have been operating for how many weeks? Three weeks already without anybody in there besides yourself? Oh, it's been over a month. Over a month. And we did recommend uh, closing our office to the public on a Wednesday temporarily while we have to deal with the situation. Um, not that Lisa isn't there, but she's there certainly, but she's going to get caught up on work. 
Uh, I think she got hit at a time when tax bills were there, when abatements are going out, when excise bills were out, and still having to deal with permits. And is we still want to remain cordial to people who come to the window, and you certainly, you're more prone to make errors when you're jumping up and down and going back and forth. So I think it, it's out of necessity. It's not a permanent thing, but I think that we felt that's the best way we could cope with it. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it underscores the, uh, the workload in, that we have in our office and that uh, it needs to be handled by two persons, not just one. And uh, I think we need to allow Lisa to be in there one day without uh, interruptions at the counter to get the paperwork and all the other work that needs to be done. This past Wednesday was my first day to close and I got so much done, but with no interruptions. I'm still answering the phones, I'm still answering emails. Um, if I'm really focused on, like I was doing supplemental billing, um, I put the phones on do not disturb and I just call them back after. So it's not that we're trying not to give you the full service, but we have to work within the scope of what we've got to deal with. So. It'll be a while. Once we've got some other staff in there, we'll be back to a normal situation. Any any business? Anything you'd like to bring up, or no? uh, Mr. Bruce? Anything that you would like to bring up? Uh, other than the necessity of getting a assistant in there, I think everything else is going smoothly. Yeah. So. I think the public at, at some point. I don't know when we'll be able to get everybody to understand what all the responsibilities are that go with the assessment. Someday I'd like to have it posted maybe onto our website or, or onto even the, uh, the cable mm -hmm. for people to see that it's not just about there, about your real estate, it's uh, in your, your property, it's personal property, it's excise bills, it's betterments, it's, it's on and on and on and keeping up, people don't realize, even keeping up and looking at property as people are making it better and she's dealing with building permits that if you don't get those, that's part of our new growth in many cases, that it affects our tax rate. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's... Uh, I think we had 400 building permits last year. No kidding, really. 400 building permits. And those are all handled by... Some of them I don't have to do because just maybe like insulation yep. and things like that. So some of those I don't have to go out on. But we're falling behind. Um, all our pictures are old. We're supposed to keep up with card pictures of each house. Um, I'd like to see an assistant be able to go out and do the small things like the decks and mm -hmm. the pools so that I can be in the office working on other things. And, and I, you know, of course, I'd go out on sales and new construction, but it would be nice if the clerk could <coughs> pick up some of that. Yeah, and people don't realize it affects them. If we're not accurate on that information, Ultimately, it will affect your values, will affect your tax rate for raising your, uh, because of raising your revenue. And there are so many uh, requirements imposed by the state and statutes uh, that we have to follow, uh, reporting, forms, etc. I don't think anybody realizes until they get involved in actually on the board or working with the assessor's office how difficult it is. And, and I have to do continued education too. So I have to attend um, workshops during the day sometimes. Sometimes I have evening workshops. And that's just to keep up to date on um, the changes in the laws a lot of times. If I'm not up to date on the laws, then I'm not following the correct laws. And I gotta admit, you have been great on service with the public. You always have a great attitude and have tried to assist people when they come in there. But I got news for people, not every town is that accommodating and helping you fill out forms, understanding what's involved in the process, if you're trying to do an abatement, the exemptions, they hand you a paper and tell you to read it. <laughs> so I think people are very lucky that we do have that kind of service we've been able to give. And that's, that's thanks to you, Lisa, and the people you've brought on board when you've made a decision with somebody to come on. So hopefully we'll resolve that situation soon. We are, we're looking at a next meeting date of April 13th. If we think that will work, we'll have to check. Friday the 13th uh, again. Friday the 13th <laughs> again. Is, yeah, we've had about three of those. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. If that being it, then I think we're pretty much finished. Right, so you guys are good with April. I'll yeah. just check with Conrad. Yep. Okay. So we would need a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn to April 13th. Seconded unanimous.